I was first diagnosed with Asperger's when I was nine and a half years old. I don't really remember, I think it was around age five or six. I wasn't told until I was, um, I think I was about eight or nine. I live with it quite well, I find. I, I, ever since I've learned about it, I just went by my life as normal, so I can only surmise I've lived with it quite well. Over the years, since I've been aware of it, I've managed to um, be able to bring it under control as I've become more aware of it. And now it's really mild at the moment. It's been improving since, um, for the past two, three years now. Since, I, I don't know, probably since I started travel training and now I'm an independent traveller and that's what gives me a lot of independence and I, and I love being independent. <laughs> when I was first diagnosed, um, I was like in year 10 and 11 of like secondary school so I got lots of help with my GCSEs and then I moved on to Rugby College which was mainstream college and I really like struggled there and um, before I came here I found it hard explaining to people like, what I had um, and um, it was how I didn't quite like and understand how they accepted it I used to be very resistant to anything that changed. Uh, I used to get very angry and very upset about things. But uh, on the plus side, I was very good and obsessed with um, different films and I could make stories up. So that's why I do uh, a level three uh, BTEC National Diploma in Performing Arts because it's something I'm good at, I'm good at creativity. Through these doors is the place where I work virtually every day when I come to college, a performing arts studio. The acting part is excellent. Most excellent. I'd say my best strength is drama, isn't it, Mal? I'd say I'm not sure about dance. I know I'm very good at drama and improvisation. I, I think, well, I think the way you've been talking, I think everybody can see that you're very good at your drama side. I think you're very good at your dance side. I don't think you have a lot of confidence in your, in your dance. I think ability. it will develop if I keep on coming to the extracurricular. Right, do you want to start it off? Uh, no, you said that. Okay. Um, tennis. Ball. It brought to my awareness of how I could change and how I could do things differently and how I can understand and empathise with other people's point of views. I will be honest, sometimes I get told off for either not turning up and I sometimes get told off for being late. And I can, Asperger's related, although I get on very well in class, I can very often get told off for throwing tantrums. This morning was a prime example because I couldn't get my own way and Mel told me differently. So there is sometimes a little bit of a power struggle, but on the whole we get on quite well, don't we? <laughs> yes, we do, Andrew. <coughs> I'd write down my goals and not trying to fulfil them. It helped help, help me to remember what, what needs to be fulfilled. Coming to Asperger's group has helped me in lots of ways as well because it's taught me to uh, tolerate other people that suffer from Asperger's. I don't really know who has Asperger's syndrome in this uh, in this college apart from the people who are in the Asperger's group so I can't really say the knowledge that, I, that I'm with people who have Asperger's hasn't really helped when I arrived because I didn't know who had Asperger's and who didn't when I first came here. Since I've come here 
it's uh, I can't just be an absolute phenomenal. Just like the support and help I've gotten. Mm, they helped me get. They helped me do my spellings. They did, and I think I got better at being confident now. They they helped me in shops, and they helped me with my mini skills. So now I can go and get cash out of my own, which I didn't used to out to do. Yeah, I've had him five years and I wouldn't be without him. I'd always wanted my own dog and it was really good to get a guide dog because I didn't think, because I got a bit of eyesight, that I'd ever get one and I was only on the waiting list two um, months. Now, can you imagine my pleasure when they rung me up and said I'd been accepted and a dog, I got a dog called Wix. And the very next day uh, they did a meeting assessment with me and him where they could try me out on the harness and show me how to use him before I went training the next week. The first thing he did when he first came into my house, my dad videoed it because he came round to meet the dog as well, was he sat upright on two paws, he does it now, I'll show you, up sit Wix and he hooks, he won't do it now, up sit Wix and he hooks his paw into your leg and that's the first thing he did, my dad's got a video of him doing, he's just really cheeky, it's really funny and he won't do it now because I want him to do it. Wix's favourite food would be his uh, Uber maintenance which he has twice a day but he, he loves and he's not supposed to have it, he actually loves sausages. I asked, checked around a few of my friends and that, and they seem to have more fun here than any of the other colleges they've been to, because you get to do more here. So they're doing like fencing and judo, actually going to do, try to do golf and that. And I was warm up before I do fencing or judo. So, so that's like uh, when about five-ish they start, so I'm near when about four. So they get a few uh, warms up. My name's Phil. Oh, Hello. The, uh, Tuesday. That's right, I've seen you there. You have some take the attention of the young lady. Yeah. Yes, yes, very good. You too. <laughs> At the moment we're doing plastic fencing. Plastic? No, it's, it's very good. It uh, gives in things. Can I have a load Small sword. That's right. And these are basically the foils. Uh, but being here has been more fun, getting more, no, a bit people. And I uh, also join the peer support group as well, so I'm going to help out people in the future. <laughs> Stop drawing <laughs> Now I'm here to sexual loads with our um, friends. And yeah, I'm walking down here and visit my girlfriend. Um, and we all come in there and, 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 and chill out and have a nice um, social chat. I'm not student with each other. This is the Herald Wet Centre where like students go and rest and like chill out and that. Oh, oh, Chelsea. Uh, Manchester. No, we all go to Chelsea. I knew I was a man of tea. Yeah, I do the Asperger's group here, and um, that's that's it. That's and that has helped me quite a lot. So it's helped me to understand myself and autistic individuals around me. Um, I've had support from staff and um, my friends, and um, but mostly my family. They've they really support. They've really supported me. I, I struggled with my social skills all my life and um, well they've helped me quite a lot and also coming here has helped me a lot as well because I've had a lot more support and I'm more socially comfortable than I was five years ago when I first started secondary school. I have uh, helped with my uh, reading some time, like spelling, if I like, get stumped on like a word or that. <laughs> and then... I try to do other stuff to see if I can do it on my own. It's 
some stuff took a little while, some didn't take too long. Like getting here, back here to the college and now, I could take the bus here or walk it. I um, at the weekends I spend time in here. Um, do you want, shall I show you my cupboard? Yeah. Do you want to have a look? That's what I um, tend to cut. Here's a sweet corn. And um, this is where these, these are my um, drinks, what I get for myself. And I'll show you my um, bedroom. Chill out and listen to my music and um, watch my TV. And this is where I sleep. I would live with my girlfriend, I would. She's the best girlfriend I ever had. Oh, I'm more independence. That's why I'm up in the bungalow. And I got uh, I, um, I do my cooking myself, washing, and I go out on my own. Um, when I used to come here, I weren't even independent at all. And, and now I'm really independent. So I know what I know what I do. I can go outside on my own. I didn't use how to do that stuff, but now I can. It is improving, like, I wouldn't have, um, like, many friends before I came here and uh, my friendships would be very rocky, but I've made some great friends since coming here. <laughs> I'm independent with going out and about, but all the other things, probably not independent. It's just being able to live on my own so and do like washing and cooking and keeping tidy. If I want to go around to my mum's for Sunday dinner because nothing's better than your mum's Sunday dinner um, and if I want to pop around for a cup of tea or if I struggle with something such as putting a light bulb in my stepdad will always come and put a light bulb in but as it goes they're just there if I need them. Uh, I live in my own flat so I don't really need them that much. I live independently. I get in routines because I know when you get autism you get into routine and that and then you like get into routine like like you have to I get up at certain times, leave at certain times, do things at certain times and that and uh, but sometimes I like to break out of that <laughs> and then just do different things. <laughs> Yeah, my theatricals they like supported me to like like work with them, and here it's been like life changing with the support. Future hopes is to become an actor and to go on to university and be a. Um, Actor, professional actor, or dance choreographer. Fine, OK, we won't do anything then. Oh, come on, we've got to do something. All right, then, how about we compromise? How about Saturday night we go to the pitches and Friday night we do what you want to do? OK, that's fine with cool, me. Cool, we'll do that then. That's fine with me. Well, I would like to do more performing arts because I really badly want an acting job because it's, uh, one of the mi because it's one of the things which I'm best at. It's one of my finest skills. I hope to break into the media and creative industry. I know it'll be difficult, but I think I'll get there. I want to be um, an editor or probably a filmmaker or a writer. And, and also I want full independence as well. You wouldn't believe it, but it is true. I want to go into animation. I did do Art of the City and I'm going to do media so I can see I could fuse both together. But my heart's set on doing stories and that. 
Because when I was like young, as you know, you guys playing football and stuff like that, you know, meeting the friends in town, I was at home daydreaming. And most of my days, I just daydreaming what I see in TV or what I try to read in a book. But then my, my insert is much worse. It was a little tad pretty bad. But um, then I just wanted to get into going, making stories and that. Because I found out if the child's happy, the parents are happy. I would like to like, be independent. So I'm doing independent living while I'm here. But when it comes to me leaving here, I'm hoping like, to live away from my parents and meet that special man and get married and have children. I feel like a, a different person and I've developed more independence and, and uh, communication skills and, and more, I've gained more initiative and more confidence in myself. We said um, you need a license for swimming. Mango. 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 Yeah, Mango. 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 There was um, three things I wanted to achieve. Um, I wanted to be able to work in teams better and to be comfortable with expressing my views and opinions in a group and over the past couple of weeks I have achieved that um, through um, help from a, me from a media group and my tutor. I'm now really confident with expressing what I think and won't hold back. And um, the third thing I wanted to achieve was um, nearly finishing my um, novel, my science fiction one. And um, I've just got halfway through that and I've nearly finished it. Right, what I want to achieve is great media skills and write satirical novels, basically. But I also want to stage and I also want stage and screen fame when I adapt them. I've learned how to interact and to be sensible and be organised and prepared in, in, uh, in different activities or lessons or, or groups. There's the right small word. Hey, man, I just noticed how I did that with the name. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mine was to be able to do my own laundry and to go out and about college more. Got Okay. And uh, got uh, get my own house and maybe if with my girlfriend. Not doing that yet, <laughs> but working on it. I'm beginning to have more self belief, which was one of my weak points before. And I'm really happy with myself because I feel that if I'm like in college like all the time, like it gets me down. So. I start to be able to like, get out on my own, it's good. I feel um, that I'm uh, progressing in that, right, in that direction and everything's going in a positive way. <laughs>